scrubs will be, will be spaced at that particular spacing. No? Ilaman ka mo at 150 at 200 at 250. No? Kung saan ka ng iyong pag-compute. Now, kini yung 150 ka spacing, this is the spacing that we provide from the face of the support up to the 1 meter, no? To 1 meter. So you have 1 minus, the first stirrup will be placed at 50 mm from the face of the support. So you have here 1 meter minus 0 0.05 representing 50 mm and divided by the spacing of 150. So you will get 7 at 150. Then next, you have 1.5 minus 1 divided by 200. You take 2.5, round off to 3 at 200. Then next, 2 minus 1.5, you will be spacing 250. But anyway, this is already 250 beyond. No? So, on a regular to the request at 250. So, to describe the speed of spacing, this is how we state it. No? So, use the MM diameter of the speed ups. So, the first, Place at 50 mm from the base to support. Then followed by 7, the space at 150 mm from center. Followed by 3, 3 stir ups, the space at 200 mm from center. Then beyond which the spacing will be constant, no? Uh, 250 mm from center to center line. So, ma, isimetrical na to, isimetrical na to. So, from left to center line and from right to center line. The speed up spacing will be symmetrical. Now, what I say, 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 Closer spacing and on the right side, the wider spacing. But if you do that, that is also a danger that during implementation, passing a balik, without, no? I think when I engineer a putao, then I want to say, like, 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 I want to say, in order to avoid that mistake, we just adapt the more stringent uh, spacing to make the spacing symmetrical. So as for canal refinement, we will really be down to large savings of economy uh, in the design. Uh, it has to be closely monitored in its implementation. So, so far we have already designed the bill for flexure and machine. However, a third requirement is deflection. No? Malintang sa ay, okay sa share, pero di ito yung selection, ang sa'yo resulta. Ang atong beam, kung saan, no? Wala siya mabalik, so it is okay in flexion, wala sa siya ay diagonal crack, so okay in share, but it will have a large deflection. And large deflection will have impact on the serviceability of the building. For example, na tayo glass wall gari. Glass wall placed under this beam. And if this beam deflects, then it will sit on top no, of your glass the wall. It can, of course, the glass wall is not designed to support load and it will break. No? So, na kayo puntahan gari, no? Kung saan kang bibiya, so, na kayo mong puntahan, door will it will go tight. It will longer open or close the door. But, so all that deflection has to be controlled. It should be limited to the tolerable amount. Right? That deflection, we cannot avoid that. No? May mong zero on the deflection, may mong deflect, may na. Sa gusto ni mong sa delay, no? So we have to limit the deflection to the tolerable amount. So this is the calculation for checking the deflection. So allowable deflection
contraction due to life load, no, not is the due to life load, no? that is the kind of contraction that has more impact on non-structural elements. I can have infection due to dead load. Once you remove the forms, or form mo na siya ang dead load ng infection. Diba? Kaya kung napakamanaw ito glass, kung partition, kung itong dead load infection, nakasettle na siya. It will no longer have any impact on the non-structural mga partition walls. Ang light load, which is applied later, kung muna siya ay na-impact. Kung ano nila yung allowable deflection due to light load. So we have the Elmer 316, that is based on the code, to prevent the plaster sealing from cracking underneath of Elmer 316. But there are other more stringent requirements. For example, kung nakakaibutang niya sa ipabawang ng mga sensitive ng mga equipment, yung alignment kinanglang na Gamay rin kayo tolerance pa, no? Yung alignment. Kaya ito po, go as high as may over 80, or sometimes higher, like 600, no? But here, ang isya is the value that we will use if the intention is just to prevent the master ceiling from cracking, no? So sa atong infection calculation, there are several things that we need to calculate, no? So first, we need to compute the centroid. And we have the type of section that we analyze, so we have the uncracked section and the cracked section, no? So one crack, one is here, we shade the ring. So we assume this to be all concrete. Then for the cracked section, part concrete above the neutral axis and steel, no? below the neutral axis. So the concrete below the neutral axis for the crack section will have no effect. Okay? So atong monitor ng centroid. And this is where you will apply what you have learned from engineering mechanics. No? Centroids of areas. Okay? So we apply the principle AY bar is equal to summation AY. And after we locate the centroid, we complete the the moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal axis of the uncracked section. So I think I don't have to explain in detail, no? So I'm going to compute the moment of inertia. Okay, mga bright na mo, no? Kaya may naman mong pagkatuglo sa inyong mechanics, no? Moment of inertia, isang pagkati yung inyong gusta mata, no? Ito na, pagkakumpute di hapon, no? Then we have the transformed steel area. This is in preparation for determining the properties of the crack section. So a transformed steel area is simply the steel area multiplied by the modular bridging end. So you have NAS. So it's a strength of materials that you can use for the pagi. And you convert that to steel that is equivalent to concrete. So you have NAS. Then, we locate the neutral axis of the crack section. So, our principle is the moment of area above will be equal to the moment of area below. So, for the moment of area above, that is B times X, multiplied by the central distance of X over 2, then it will be equal to NAS times the distance, and then B minus X. 